بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈاکٹر عائشہ غیاس از ہیئر تو سنس وی ہیو آلریڈی ڈسکس دا بیسک ٹرموسکوپی پرنسپلز اینڈ وی آلریڈی ہیڈ سم آف دا کوئز امیجز ان دا واٹس ایپ گروپ اینڈ فیو آف یو ریپلائی ویری ویل اینڈ اسکورڈ ویری ویل ان فیکٹ بٹ ایز یو نو آئی ہیڈ ناٹ کم اپ ود دی آنسرز اور دی کیز ٹو دوز امیج کوشچنس دا کوئز امیجز So today I'm going to discuss those quiz images along with their salient features and obviously the diagnosis. Uh, this was requested by many of you. So that is why I'm uh, making up a short video presentation and going to upload it soon. And uh, when you will see this video, uh, do come up with any comments or queries or if anything you feel is uh, worthy to uh, be discussed more. or if you feel like uh, having a different diagnosis to any of the images. Uh, so let's begin. So this was our first image. As you can see that the uh, image is very well circumscribed. It has got a dark brown color in the background. However, on the top of the lesion and distributed throughout the lesion are these black comedo-like openings. These are the typical comedones or comedo-like openings that we see in seborrheic keratosis. And most of you were uh, right about the diagnosis. So this one is a seborrheic keratosis. Uh, seborrheic keratosis, as I told you, people has uh, many varieties and dermoscopic features. It might have certain other features as well. Maybe in the coming images, we'll discuss them. Right, so this is the uh, second image. Now you can see that in this image, there is color variegation, starting from brown to light pink, to grayish blue, dark brown, and a veil-like thing, which is obscuring the details underneath. We are also able to see certain isolated dots and clots, and there are vessels as well. The vessels are not only seen in the center of the lesion, but also in the periphery, and they look like serpentine. Also close to the vessels on this part, uh, follow the cursor, there is a grayish blue area in the background. Isolated dots and clots of pigment are obviously seen around the lesion. And you may also see these white lines crystalline structures or the short white lines or the shiny white lines. These are because of the fibrotic bands that are running underneath. And this is one of the characteristic of many malignant lesions and also for the BCC. So uh, describing in detail the lesion, you might have reached the diagnosis. This is a basal cell carcinoma. اور اس کے جو ڈائگنوسٹک فیچرس ہیں اس وقت دیز آر دی گرے بلو کلاڈس ڈاٹس سرپنٹائن ویسلس شارٹ وائٹ لائنس اینڈ اوبیسلی دی اے سیمیٹری آف دا لیشن سو دس از اے بی سی سی گوئنگ ٹو ورڈس دا تھرڈ امیج So this one is obviously an asymmetrical lesion and it has got a color variegation starting from light brown to dark brown to bluish gray to very dark brown here. This dark brown part is called the isolated clod. It's not a dot, it's a clod. And this is the blue gray, or you may say, veil-like structure because it is obscuring the details underneath. So it's kind of a veil that is wrapped on the lesion. Isolated dots are also seen on the top of the lesion and also around the periphery. These are the grayish blue dots and clots. This area is not insignificant. This is a significant area because it shows a structureless pattern. Peripheral structureless pattern was one of the diagnostic feature of melanoma. So peripheral structureless area and gray blue dots and clots, blue white veil, color variegation, asymmetry. These are the features. The vessels are not that prominent, but we can obviously see the um, 
reddish hue in the background. So this obviously is a melanoma. As you can see over here, this part is not the malignancy. Uh, it shows you the normal network pattern which we all of us have in the skin. And these are the skin creases in the periphery. These white lines, these are not like the short white lines we just saw in the previous image. Let me show you the previous one again. These are the short white lines. These are shiny. They are visible with the polarized uh, dermoscope only, not with the unpolarized one, because the polarized dermoscope is the one which is going to see in the depth. And obviously, these white lines are to be seen only with the polarized one. However, this blue white veil is better seen with the non polarized dermoscope. So, this one is a melanoma. Now, uh, going forward towards the fourth image, what is this? This is pretty simple. As we discussed in the first image, comedo-like openings, well-circumscribed lesion. Uh, there is a little bit of color variation, but it's not significant as we don't have any uh, blue-gray dots and clots or any isolated structureless areas. And the comedo-like uh, cysts are also very prominent. So two features of seborrheic keratosis are prominent here. One is the comedo-like opening and the second is the mylia-like cyst. So this lesion qualifies to be called as seborrheic keratosis. Right. <clears throat> so how about this lesion? As you can see that the lesion is showing a little bit of ulceration here, blue, gray dots and clots. There are vessels running in the center of the lesion and they are serpentine and very clear in focus. Some peripheral dots are also visible and a bluish white veil is not characteristically seen. However, the central part of the lesion shows a whitish color that might be because of the fibrosis. And uh, other than the serpentine vessels, there is no vascularity. There, at certain places, there are big clod like structures. So, this one is a pigmented BCC. Now, this lesion is very important to be discussed. As you can see in this lesion, there are yellowish clods in the background. The whitish yellow cheesy material is seen in the background and overlying which are vessels, but they are not in focus. As you can see that the vessels seem like fuzzy, interrupted and not continuous. The branches are not very visible and they are kind of avoiding the center. They are not traversing through the center of the lesion. They are seen better at the periphery. This one is a sebaceous hyperplasia, not a BCC. All right. Okay. So this one is pretty much the revision. Comedo-like openings, mylia-like cysts, well circumscribed. If you have these two things, just don't worry. Say it, aseptic keratosis. Okay. Okay. So this is one variety of lesion, pretty common. And uh, it's very important to understand it. As you can see that the lesion is also, this lesion is also well circumscribed. There is a little color variegation from light brown to dark brown. The periphery of the lesion, look at the periphery of the lesion, there are moth-eaten borders. These borders uh, are called the moth-eaten borders. And these white spaces are actually uh, not comedo-like openings. These are the sebaceous gland openings as this, uh, this is basically a solar lentico and they are commonly seen on the skin of the face and the exposed parts more. So on the face, this lesion has been taken from the face and uh, there are obviously uh, many openings of the sebaceous glands in the skin of the face. So these are those openings and around them is obviously the pigment. Uh, there is another feature of the solar lentigo which is curved lines. These are the curved lines which are making up the uh, moth-eaten borders. So these curved lines are another diagnostic feature of solar lentigo. 
this one is the solar integral all right so um, this lesion is pretty symmetrical i mean if you draw a perpendicular line and a horizontal line on both sides of both these lines you see that the lesion is pretty much a mirror image that is the lesion is symmetrical and what you see on the image is these are the brown pigment collections and they there are certain areas where you see a pigment uh, network lines although not a complete network is visible but incomplete network lines are visible and in addition there are brown dots the brown dots and few clots are symmetrically distributed throughout the lesion structureless areas are also symmetrically distributed and same goes true for the incomplete network lines so this is basically is the image of uh, the melanocytic nevus as you know there are many types of melanocytic nevi morphologically dermoscopically and uh, some of them are like uh, showing a complete network and uh, the others show clod like structures this one is a combination that is the network and the dots and clods are seen together and there is no asymmetry uh, so it's a melanocytic nevus so um, as you can see in this image there is a color variegation a pigment blotch what is a pigment blotch it is basically a very dark black area on one side of the lesion where it is completely obstructing the light to go further inside and we cannot anything underneath there are peripheral radial lines and structureless area on one side as well as on the top of the lesion so this one qualifies for melanoma it's not a symmetrical lesion it is showing you peripheral radial lines and also a pigment blotch going towards the next lesion as you can see there is a network pattern and the network pattern is of two kinds uh, this one is the normal network pattern having very light colored as you can see that the lines are thinner than the areas enclosed by them this is the characteristic of a normal network pattern however on the bottom side of the picture you can see that the thickness of the lines is greater than the areas enclosed by them that is the holes that are enclosed by these lines are smaller than the thickness of the lines and it appears much darker as well so this one is the abnormal pigment abnormal network also called the atypical network and this one is the typical network so this one also uh, qualifies for melanoma and another feature visible over here is the structure as pattern in the periphery so another melanoma this was another image uh, shown in the quiz images as you can see over here this is the globular nevus the dark brown clots it's basically an uh, intradermal nevus and adjoining the nevus you see the color variegation from light to dark brown and peripheral structureless area radial lines in the periphery and isolated dots and clots so this one is a melanoma that is arising from a globular intradermal nevus okay so the next one is a skin of either palm or a sole because it is showing you the ridge pattern and as you can see over here that the pigment is concentrated on the ridges rather than furrows if the pigment is more so in the furrows but not on the ridges that is a normal pigment pattern may be seen in a solar lantigo or a common melanocytic nevus however as you can see over here that there is a little chaos in the picture as well the lesion does not appear symmetrical and plus the pigment is concentrated on the ridges in between the furrows are appearing as depigmented lines only the thickness of the pigment is more as compared to the white line so the furrows are thinner and the ridges are occupied with the pigment this is called a parallel ridge pattern prp and it is diagnostic of acral melanoma and also you can see isolated dots and clots and a little chaos in the lesion so this one is an acral melanoma 
So uh, I have magnified this image a bit just to show you the various uh, patterns of the vessels over here. In the center is ulceration, a little bit of ulceration. These are the white areas. They are devoid of any shiny white lines or crystalline structures, but it is obviously a diffuse white area. Uh, scattered in this white area, as well as around the periphery of the lesion are dots. These dots are red in color, so they are vessels. The vessels are uh, present in the form of dots in the line, scattered dots, and they are also present in the form of looped vessels and certain uh, glom glomerular vessels, glomerular vessels. <laughs> it's difficult to pronounce here. Anyways, so this is a lesion which is having diversity in the vascular patterns and has got an ulceration in the center, white fibrotic areas in the background. So what is it? This has to be a melanoma. So this is a an amelanotic melanoma. It does not uh, show us any uh, pigment patterns, veil, or any typical network or isolated dots and clots. But obviously, we are able to see a diversity in the uh, blood vessels and a little bit of ulceration in the center. This one is an amelanotic melanoma. Going towards the next lesion. Okay. So this one is uh, from the, okay. So this one uh, appears to be a symmetrical lesion with areas, uh, structureless areas, as well as brown pigmented patches, but they are symmetrical and the hair are also coming out, mm, the, making the suspicion more stronger of a common melanocytic nevus. But what is it? This one is a blue nevus, which is arising from the melanocytic nevus. And uh, this uh, one, we are going to excise it. We are not going to leave this lesion. So, <clears throat> since when the blue nevi or any other uh, intradermal nevi uh, come in conjunction with the junctional nevi, so we are not going to leave them as such. Either we are going to follow them with the dermoscopy every six months or we are going to excise them. <coughs> Very simple, common, uh, typical network, which is uh, symmetrically distributed. The image is perfectly symmetrical. As you can see, if you draw a horizontal line or a vertical line, both sides of the image are mirror image to each other. So this one is a common melanocytic nevus. Now, as you can look, uh, see over here is that the whole of the lesion is uh, light brown in color. And there are multiple shapes of the brown color in the lesion. It appears as if some hypopigmented areas are dividing these brown structures and making different shapes of them while they are completely or incompletely connected to each other. These hypopigmented lines seem to make up a network and it goes just reverse to the typical network in which the brown lines are enclosing the depigmented areas. Here, the depigmented areas enclosing the brown structures. So this one is called the reverse network or a negative network. And it is one of the diagnostic features of melanoma. So this one is a melanoma. Uh, we saw in I think in the second image, the short white lines or the crystalline structures, this image is just to emphasize the idea that the short white lines or crystalline structures are going to be more visible more with the polarized dermoscopy and not with the non-polarized dermoscopy. This uh, lesion belongs to BCC and the typical feature shown here is obviously more prominent with the polarized dermoscope. Coming to the last lesion, uh, this one is a pretty symmetrical lesion. On the periphery of the lesion are brown claws, while in the center is the structureless brown area. However, scattered in the structureless uh, brown area are scattered some more dots and claws. However, the lesion is symmetrical, perfectly symmetrical. There is no blue or gray or an abnormal network. This one is a common melanocytic nevus. So hopefully uh, this presentation uh, will prove helpful for you to come up with better diagnosis uh, using the dermoscope. If you have any queries, 
regarding the diagnosis or the features, the salient feature, dermoscopic features of these images. You may come up in the WhatsApp group or you may even comment in this, uh, on the channel, the YouTube. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.